you should be live now. <sighs> Last time I hit record, it didn't quite catch the uh, beginning, so I just gave it a little while, hopefully. Hopefully it's actually, like, streaming now. I've noticed a few times when I start, like, <laughs> I'll take a look at the VOD later, and it's uh, it's just me talking, like, halfway through. It's just, like, me halfway through a word. But anyway, so we've just uh, we've just beaten the grass gym. So I actually so in my uh, wonderlocks, uh, every time I beat a gym, I go back to the wild area and capture a Pokemon. And the reason I do that is because I think it's a bit overwhelming to go into the wild area and just capture one from each area. Because then when you you know you go back into, you go into the first gym and you've got like you've got like fifteen Pokemon. So to kind of balance that out, what I tend to do is. I'll just go and grab one from the wild area every time I get a, like a gym badge. So we actually have two... Well, obviously we'll get a Pokemon from Route 5. But we're going to go to the wild area first and we're going to get ourselves a new team member there. Oh, that's a point. Okay, everyone's all healed up. Okay. First Pokemon we see. I mean, not that it's going to matter because we're going to trade him away anyway, but... Ooh, a Bounce Sweep. So this actually evolves into one of my favorite Pokemon, but unfortunately, we're not going to be keeping hold of them. Uh, who should we swap to? Alright, we'll swap to Zubat, just so we don't wind up killing it by accident. Normally, I would start off my streams with an hour of um, with an hour of Smash Brothers practice, but uh, I don't know. I, I was quite excited to keep going on my nuz at my Wonderlock, so uh, I decided to forego that today and just hop straight in. So today's Wonderlock stream should be about three hours long, and I reckon that's probably enough time to get. Might even be enough time to get three gym badges actually. him with hypnosis and uh, throw down a pokeball. Like, this is more or less guaranteed to get captured now, I'm certain. But, uh, we'll throw out, I mean, let's throw a heal ball. I mean, we have no, we have no need for a, t for a heal ball in this run anyway. But, uh, you never know. Whoever gets it might, uh, might like it in a heal ball. And you never know, it might go go on to help someone in their own Wonderlock. Yeah. Every every Wonderlock Pokemon I just call Wonder. And uh, chuck it out into the wild just so people know it came from a, a Wonderlock. Alright, so let's get the hell out of there. Let's connect to the internet. I'm about to meet our sixth Pokemon of the team, and then soon after our seventh Pokemon. Which is a nice surprise. Oh. I'm going to chuck him into box one. And away he goes. All right. 
let's hope we get something good. So I can currently control up to level 25 Pokemon, I think? Let, let me quickly check, just so we know uh, what rules to follow. Because if I can't control it, obviously, I can't keep it. So let's take a look at my League card. Okay, so Pokemon up to level 30 will listen, so... As long as it's below level 30, I guess? But I don't know, that seems like quite a, quite a high level to receive. I feel like if it's like above level 20, we should send it back. Or 25 at least, if it's above level 25. Having a level 30 seems like I'm cheating a little bit. Oh, done already. I should have flown back to town. Oh, we're getting another Japanese Pokemon. Okay, a Magikarp. And what level are you, Magikarp? Level 5, okay. You're going to be dead weight for a while, but, um... You know, Magikarp, that's not bad. It'll be, it'll be good in the end. So, let's head to a Pokemon Center, give him a nickname, and then we'll head on to Route 5. Actually, I didn't need to actually heal, that's just a force of habit. Well, he's going to turn into uh, a Gyarados, so he has a Dragon type, so let's call this guy Komodo. Like Komodo Dragon. going to be kind of tight. So now we have two water types, so the, uh, the third gym, the one I was worried about, is going to be a Breeze. So... Thing is, we have two fire types, so we're going to get someone new on the next route. And we'll have to swap them out just because uh, the only guy I really have that's going to be any good for the grass gym is going to be Stumit. Oh, fuck, sorry about that. Let me put my phone on mute. There we are, no more of that. Right, on to Route 5 and another Pokemon. Alright, first guy I see. Actually, isn't the first... Yep, a double battle. Okay. Uh, let's put you two out first. Okay, yeah, I'm not in too much danger here. In fact, it might have been smarter just to keep out but two fire types for this. But it's not a huge problem. Because fire is great against... Uh... Oh, there we go, I hit both of them. Not too bad then. But fire type's great against steel. I did shit tons of damage to the uh, Helioptile, though. I was faster than... Both of them were faster, actually, so... I have absolutely nothing to worry about. But... Actually, no. Can we go back? Yeah, we can. I was like, oh... 
he can just finish off with the Razor Leaf, but I'm actually not sure how, much, sure how much damage it did with the Razor Leaf. So I think just hitting the same targets is the best course of action. Yeah, that worked out. Oh, he avoided it. Okay, well, I guess it's a good thing. Actually, yeah, no one's in any danger, it's fine. I'm hoping I can fish up a Pokemon in um, the next town as well. Just to get the Charm Yulian out of the team. Just for that gym, anyway. Okay, a Stuffle. Oh, it's quite a high level as well. I have to be sure this thing doesn't kick my ass. Already had two members of my team KO'd by a Stuffle. Let's hope this doesn't kill it. Yeah, we're good. So just to be safe before I throw a Pokeball, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal Francisco up. I should have a super potion. Then again, let's use a regular potion because let's save those super potions for the actual gym. Or like a rival battle or something. Stuffle and a heal ball matches the colors. Oh, okay. Holy shit, that was a big hit. I wasn't aware he could do that much damage. So, I think it's super potion time. Big hits. And Francisco probably has a higher defense than um, than anyone on my team, considering it's like one of the few like evolved ones. Holy hell, okay, I should be using... At this... No... Okay, good. At this point, I should probably be using a timer ball. And that is my last... Uh... That's super potion as well. So so much, so much for saving those for the uh, gym. Seriously, this stuff has got no business hitting so hard. Oh fucking hell! Great Ball, perhaps? Fuck, man. I think it's time to use another potion. 
Or I might have to swap Pokemon entirely. Tell you what, yeah, we'll use a potion. We'll see how much health we have left over after that. If he hits big again. Like that. Yeah, okay. We're moving on to, uh, to Stumat. Because it's really leaving us with uh, with no real option. This guy does not want to be caught. Do we have any of those, like, yes. I should be able to buy loads of these in the next town. So, I'm not too worried. Okay, it's been a couple turns now. This should be pretty good. This should be equivalent to, like, an Ultra Ball at this point. No? Okay. <laughs> Makes me so worried. Oh, good thing I used that as well. These stuffles are dangerous, man. I genuinely can't heal fast enough if he keeps using these moves. If he just uses Brutal Swing more, I'll be okay. Or if he uses, like, Endure again. There we go. Alright, time for another Pokeball. One crit is gonna fuck me. Fuck. Alright, next guy. Um... Zubat. Maybe I can hit him with Hypnosis. Oh, I hope this works. You avoided Hypnosis. Such a fucking problem! Oh my fucking god. Okay, he had bad max health. So. Fuck. Will it just have to be like swapping to Pokemon and throwing out balls? Like. Get cool. I've thrown, I, I've thrown like seven balls at you. <laughs> this stuffle is a monster. I hate stuffle. Come on!
Why, why won't you stay caught? You shouldn't be this problematic. I've been trying to catch you for like 10 minutes now. Good God. Use Endure again. Give me a give me a free turn, please. Am I about to... Am I about to lose Charmeleon? Holy shit. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. What an absolute pain in the ass. Rip in peace, big boy. So, not only did we not ca Oh, you guys can fuck right off. So not only did we manage to not catch our Pokemon, we actually lost one. So that's... That, that's got me feeling real good. Motherfucker. Right. Looks like we're going to have to get beefy before we even travel down that route. The shame a Charizard would have been pretty nice. But looks like we're just going to have to head back up this hill. Fight a bunch of the trainers. Now, now that we can cap at level 30... Uh, I think we're just going to have to go hard on these guys. Just going to come out here and ruin some children's days. That is the second Stuffle, who has really just messed me up. Actually, looking at my graveyard, every single Pokemon in there has died to a Stuffle. I have fought two Stuffles. And they, they've killed three Pokemon. <sighs> like... Oh, whoops. Wrong one. All three of these guys died to a Stuffle. These two died to like a level 14 Stuffle, and you died to like a level 20 Stuffle. This is... Oh, I'm trying to think, Does, are there any fucking gym leaders that use Stuffles? Me, me and Stuffles, they're not gonna be, that's not gonna be working out. Holy shit, is that a fucking Pikachu? Da, da, 
da, da, da, da, da, da, da. So, I'll just blast through all the trainers here. Get some easy XP. Oh. Get some easy XP. And uh, just blast through that entire route. And then I'll chuck us into the next town. I know for a fact there's a fishing spot there. So we can at least try and fill our sixth slot while we're there. I wouldn't mind another... Actually. Trying to think about the upcoming gyms. We needed fire types for the grass gym. So while we did lose... Uh, Rep Reptinsel? Reptinsel, or whatever the hell his name was. Um, we lost him. But he... It's not that he outlived his usefulness, because a Charizard's always going to be useful, but... Uh, at least it happened after the grass gym. So, that's okay, at least. So, we only have... We have two water types, which would be fine for the fire gym. Uh, we only have one grass type, though, for the water gym. I mean, the water types aren't going to be at any really disadvantage in the water gym, but, uh... It's just nice to work with some type advantages. Of course, they're like steel type, aren't they? I wouldn't mind a, a Perserker. I haven't really used them. Oh man, you've really brought the wrong Pokemon to face me, my boy. The Fanties must be getting close to leveling up. I'll probably get more use out of Echoed Voice than Round. Also, can I teach Komodo any moves with the TMs? Come on, don't hit yourself. Okay, good. Ooh. Eh. Come on, come out. I think level like twenty ish, twenty five maybe. Uh, Gyarados, uh, Magikarp evolves. I can't quite remember. That sounds about right. It's definitely not in its 30s that it'll evolve. However, if I could get some kind of move in it, which I can't. But then again, it was, uh, it might have been someone's Breject. Probably not, though, because it came to me at level, at level 5, yeah. But that's okay. We'll work with it. What ability does her fanties have? Okay, so speed boost in the rain. Okay, so that can get past protect and stuff. That's pretty nice. Okay. Face me.
Actually, yeah, no. Uh, Francisco actually has Flash Fire, so that's actually going to be really useful during the Fire Gym. Was that the oh it's a little meowth coming at me. Ooh, a rat candy, okay. We'll uh we'll shove that in someone's gullet down the line. Ooh, nice. It's a shame this doesn't count as the town. I could have could have grabbed one here. Fifty years of raising Pokemon? You ain't fifty. Son of a bitch. Francisco is definitely my MVP right now. Let's hope it uh, it stays that way. Let's, let's hope uh, Francisco lives a long, healthy life. Ooh, your water type. Your water grass, I think. So I switched to a grass type just to be safer. Oh, there we go. You admitted to being a goddamn liar. You fight like a liar, too. Oh. Oh, Lord. An Eevee would be kind of sick, actually. If I could get an Eevee, that would let me fill really any slot in my party that I really wanted. Then again, I think I'm only carrying like a leaf stone, so it would have to be. I think I've already got a grass guy though. A thunderstone would be kind of sick, but I don't think I'd be able to get access to a thunderstone until I get the. Uh... What's it called? The uh, water, water riding attachment for the bike. Holy shit. That sound wasn't my knee, it was my chair, but still. Ugh, I'm aging horribly.
They're so happy to have lost. Wish I could feel the same about my... Oh, funky looking tree. Oh, shit. Okay. Easy kill. <laughs> Grubbins is the type of name I'd give one of my Pokemon. Tony Grubbins or something. Mm, I don't really have any bug Pokemon who could benefit from... No, Pin Missile's a grass move, actually. But then again, it's probably nothing compared to... Uh... Razor Leaf. Holy shit, that guy's called Mo Lester. <laughs> what did Mo Lester do? Oh, he beat someone in a battle. Great. Someone was beaten by a Mo Lester. Good for them. I'm really happy I wound up getting a time pole though. Uh, Seismitoad is a really, like, a favorite Pokemon of mine. Uh, I remember using one for my run uh, when I was doing black and white. Not like a Nuzlocke or anything, just like a regular, like, you know, just your first playthrough. And it was a blast. Right, I'm staying up. Oh, now there are no Stuffles that can kick my ass. Okay, so what a slip by real quick. Thing is, there was a big variety of Pokemon there, but when I went by it, it was just three Starfalls. And it's three levels lower than the Starfall! Oh my god. Maybe I should go through my VODs later and just put clips of uh, every Pokemon's uh, capture and every Pokemon's death. That might be fun. So, if I was to go in there, I would get a Toxtricity. But unfortunately, I cannot grab it. Never know, they might won't get one from the uh, surprise trade. Oh fuck, is that- oh my god, it's a stuffle. A cursed beat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. It deserved it. Ooh, a Ralt. A Ralt would be cool. I wouldn't mind having a Gallade. I think it needs a Dawnstone for a Gallade, though.
Shit, that's a lot of trainers. Remember, I know there's a second form of Mincinio, but I can't remember if it's like um, an evolution or it had a mega evolution. It was one or the other. Wait, no, yes, it does have a second one. It's got like a little scarf on it, and I think it's from like a yeah, it's from a stone of some kind. I think it's the same stone as Clefairy. Throwing a lot of grass types at me. All this XP's funneling into uh, Francisca, though, who's going to be zero use on the water gym. Ah, oh, fuck off, Stuffle. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty useful. Can we teach that to ma- Can we teach that to magic up? Make it a particularly sexy fish? No. Oh, you guys can fuck off. Okay, it's safe to shake it again. Yep, we're good for another one. We're good for another one. We are good for no more. Seven berries, though, not bad. Right, hang on. I think I'm paralyzed, so let me use a paralyze heal or a paralyze. I have so many berries, one of these has gotta be doing like paralyze. Oh you can feel oh wait no. No, you're fine. You're fine. Another grass type. Any more trainers on the other side of this bridge? Team Yell, right? Okay, no, Team Yell are gonna be fine. That's it's probably gonna be two fights. I think I would have preferred a double battle though. But it's all good. Oh, don't paralyze me. Ow. Oh, yeah, okay, nice. Francisca's really good. See, every, every Pokemon that I've encountered here has been weaker than that Stuffle.
So what winds up happening is I wander into a new zone. I just happen to wander into an abnormally strong Pokemon each time it's the first one. Then I go back to like the previous zone and grind a bit. Then I come back and steamroll over all the rest of the Pokemon, which are nowhere near the level of the first Pokemon I encountered. I'm surprised the evil evolves uh, below level 20, to be honest. I know it's only a two stage, it'll be like, what, 24 or something? I could really do with a new fire move as well. I should take uh, Francisco to the the move learner, just in case uh, I skipped over any Vulpix moves when I evolved him early. Because I'm pretty sure I evolved, I evolved Francisco at like level nine. So when I head into the next town, I'll uh, I'll go do that. Bubble Beam. Yeah, let's take that over Water Pulse. That Zubat should be due to evolve soon as well. Hey, oh, there we are. Hey, Golbat, that's what we like. Oh, look at his weird little feet. What the hell? They're like tubes. Ooh, a Sableye. Sableye would be pretty cool, but it doesn't evolve. It best have some pretty good stats to compensate, though. Oh, you disabled Ember? Alright, hopefully Quick Attack will do the job. Oh. That's not good. Okay, that's, um... Well, Golbot's, uh, Golbat's evolved. Let's take him out for a spin. And... <laughs> He's got a new name, but I can't read it. I'm going to assume it just says Golbat. Your psychic type, Astonish, should do some big hit, like damage to you, actually. Not much. Oh, flinch though. Bike, please. Ooh. Yeah, let's let's use Golbat for a while.
do, 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 do. Oh. Ooh. Oh, actually, yeah, let's grab a bunch of these. Oh, fuck, no, no hops. Uh, I'm not ready for this hop. Yep, no. <laughs> We're gonna go back and heal. And also, he's probably gonna heal me before I do that, but... Being able to see if I can get access to some more moves for these guys would actually be really useful before I go do that. So let's pop back to Turfield, or Tuffield, or the hell it's called. Turfield. We faster to get back now, though, that I've got the bike. Right, move guy. Unless the graveyard. We don't, we don't want to be looking at you guys, it'll just make me sad. Oh, there we are, look, we got so many cool new moves. Oh, we got, we got a lot of moves. Okay, so... We obviously want a Fire Blast, or replace Ember. What else we got? You're in tr- the hop's gonna be in trouble now. Flamethrower would be kind of tight. Ooh, a psychic move. Whoops. We definitely don't need tail whips, so... Oh, no, we don't... <laughs> let's not use a move that relies on me dying, so let's use... Let's grab, like... Hmm. Let's grab Flamethrower. And we will grab extra sensory. We're not going to get rid of quick attack because it's nice to have a move that's uh, that's just fast. I'm not super sure about getting rid of disable though, but we'll just get it back later if we need it. Komodo, do you have any secret move? No, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I don't think Hop has any powerful Pokemon that can really deal with a fire type at least. Because he'll have a Cinderace himself. So worst case scenario he'll be going up against a fire type and I'm pretty sure might not have flash fire as well and I'm pretty sure he'll have that over the Cinderace. And now that we have extra sensory that should smash through that Cinderace pretty fast. So, oh, Francisco's at the front? Yes. Nice, we just go in hard and heavy. Ready for you, Hop. We've got like four Pokemon, five Pokemon. He's got three Pokemon. So he's still got the Wooloo, Rookie D, and the, uh, what's it called? The Cinderace. Actually, it'll be the second form now. You're going to wind up being Steel type, so that's actually going to work out in my favor later on. We've got to protect Francisco at all costs. We cannot have her die during the um, 
water gym. Hopefully, I can grab a new Pokemon during the uh, next bit. That went bad. Do you not have any moves but fire moves? Oh, must be. You know, extra sensory ain't bad. Maybe I should get rid of quick attack and get disable back. I don't really expect to run into any Pokemon that are immune to both Fire and Psychic. That's such like a narrow amount. Like what would that be? Like a, like a Fairy Water or something? I can't quite remember what's immune to Psychic to be honest. You already have enough friendship to be a, uh, was it a Golbat? Okay. Or is it Crobat now? It's Crobat now, yeah. Very nice. You were a Golbat for one level. Oh yeah, we'll grab a new poison move. Nice. I've never actually used a Crobat before, so pretty happy about this. Pretty lucky it was in a Luxury Ball as well. You gotta stop giving me these. These are just taunting me. Remember all those dead Pokemon you can't bring back here? Have a revive you can't use. Pretty sure the first time you go across this bridge, there's always that little puffball Pokemon that floats by. Yep, there he is. Can I... Can I... Oh, don't put me asleep. Okay, let's rely on Flamethrower then. And a better accuracy. So many grass types. Of course, yeah, okay, never mind, that makes sense. There are so many grass types, because obviously the next gym's a, a water gym, so it's giving you like loads of opportunities to capture grass types before you fight the water gym. That makes sense.
Very nice. Krogunk is poison and not water, right? No, I guess I guess it didn't matter anyway. Oh shit, what's good Luke? How you doing? Thanks for the raid, man. I did wait, have you been streaming like today as well? What up, son? Oh shit! You should have—you should have said. I could have popped it on in the background. Uh, what are you streaming today? Dead by Daylight. How'd that? How'd that go for you? All right, we're in a new a new town. So if I can find a Pokemon to catch here, that's another guy for the team. Um, a bit of a mix, a bit of a mix, um, so I'm doing a wonder lock so I can only capture like one in each zone, uh, I've got three dead, oh yeah, and if they die, like they're dead permanently after removing them from my team, so I've got three dead at the moment, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but you know, the team's doing okay, I think I'm going to be okay for this gym and the next gym, I didn't know there was rankings in Dead by Daylight. So is it like a, uh, is it like the ranking based on like, is it just one for each match? Like, oh, you got like a rank one, like kind of like in League of Legends? Or is it just like, like in Overwatch where you rank up from playing a bunch of matches as well? Oh, that's fair. Okay, win the gym badge and join him at the restaurant. Okay. Right, let's find... Oh, there's a shop here as well that can sell me an item that will... Oh, a load of houses too. Maybe we can find some good shit inside. Do you have any items for me? Nope. Oh, th maybe you do. Nope. Anything for me? Sometimes, if the people don't have an item, like the Pokemon themselves might have one. It's not like an always thing, as you can see. I haven't found anything in any of these houses, but you never know. You never know if you can find like a nice item that might give you a huge advantage. That's the point. Speaking of items that give you a huge advantage, I gotta remove that item from some of my dead ones. I gave my dead Charmeleon a... Uh, an item that increases super effective moves, so we should give that to Stumert because he's going to be our star player for the upcoming gym. Uh, there it is, because he's just carrying like a berry right now, which isn't super useful. It's just like a nice thing to have. Actually, yeah, maybe we should just swap to Stoom up full time for the time being. Okay, at least one of these houses is going to have something useful inside. 
uh, you're the male or female because you have different ears. But are you gonna give me anything? How about in your trash? Nope. Okay, that was literally pointless. Okay. That's a shame. I spent like a lot of time doing that standing stone puzzle, and that actually rewarded me with something. some great balls. Let's grab like 15. And we're going to need some super potions too, especially if we run into another stuffle. Oh fuck. Let me let me sell while I'm here. Because I have many revives to sell. Because they keep giving them to me. Just to taunt me. I think I've finally decided what my next game I'm going to stream is as well. Uh, obviously I'll be throwing in like some Smash practice every now and then. But I think once I've finished playing Pokemon, I'll probably buy No More Heroes and work my way through that series. Because I'm really big on, you know, games like Bayonetta and stuff. And I hear that one's like a pretty good hack and slash. So, yeah, so I reckon no, the No More Heroes series would be a good one. Because I know there's a 1 and 2 are already out on the Switch now. Uh, and I know they'll be doing a third one pretty soon. Oh, this is where that... Pokemon spies. Right, so if I capture this one, uh, I'll be able to put it in the Wonder Trade and find myself a brand new Pokemon for the team. So, okay, this will be easy enough to catch, I hope, provided it's not a ridiculous level. So I just gotta be careful not to kill it, because I can only capture the first Pokemon that I encounter in each area. That was more damage than I was hoping. That's got me a little concerned. Because I'm not actually sure how much damage it takes. And I can't switch to Golbat because it's electric type and it could kill it. So Luckily it seems to do so little damage to Stumit that I'm pretty confident I can just throw a bunch of balls at it. And I'll be okay. There we are, sweet. So, as with all the Pokemon that I chuck into the Wonder Trade, I name them Wonder just so whoever receives them know I'm doing a Wonder Lock. Uh, plus, you know, I always like to think that maybe they'll wind up in someone else's Wonder Lock, which would be pretty cool. Right, surprise trade. Oh, wait, no, I've got to dump him in the. In the bank, or the box, or whatever it's called. My three dead boys. Right. Let's find out who our new teammate is. I really hope it's something that's good against electric, uh, against water types. So I'm hoping for an electric type, or I'm hoping for a uh, grass type. I think electric type would be preferred because electric types are going to be. I mean, water types. I mean, grass types. Holy shit, grass types are going to be a bit of a problem when it comes to the third gym. All right, let's see if Henry Twelve has got something nice for us. A blip bug, which is an electric type, I think. So, bite mole. <laughs> what a horrible name! 
I think it's, it's, it's not bad, though. Like, I just wish it was capitalized. <laughs> I bite mole ready for th welcome to the team. Actually, Bite Mold's not going to be much use at all on the uh, the next gym. It'll be good for the Rock Gym, though. Francisco, you're not going anywhere near this gym, so it's really going to be down to U3. If I can't do it with U3, I'm kind of fucked. But, okay, so we'll leave Stuma out for the time being, uh, and we'll try and get as much done as we can with the Crobat. And if we really need him, we'll throw in her fanties. But we're going to need to keep Stuma nice and strong for the actual gym leader itself. So I know there's going to be two or there's going to be about three three trainers inside that gym. So those two Pokemon will have to take care of all of those because we want to save as much uh, as much PP in the, with the moves as possible. The only thing I'm worried about is if they have any. Uh, electric water types, like that one we just came across. But, oh, 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 I forgot to go to the shop and uh, the market I was talking about and grab some items that helped me out. And I think it's just down here. Yes, I want some incense, so. Rock Psychic. No, not that. Actually, maybe. Well, no, he's already got the thing that boosts super effective moves, so we don't need that. But we'll grab one of each of these, and we'll put those on the uh, her, on her fanties and Komodo. Not that Komodo has any water type moves right now. So these items are great, but the problem with these is that. Uh, they actively make your Pokemon like you less. Which is a bit of a pain. But so useful. Because Pokemon don't like the taste of bitter things. So these natural remedies, while good, are bad in that regard. Luckily, the only one I actually need to like me is the Crobat. And he's already evolved, so... So his happiness, happiness is no longer important. Right, there should be a person, yep, stopping me from going any further, so... Ooh, a shell bell, okay. That will be pretty useful, actually. So, we'll check the incense on her fanties. Check the shell bell on Chromat. You're going to get water moves eventually, so we'll check that on you, Komodo. Actually, the Mystic Water will probably be better for you. And finally, bug types. There we go. Throw some silver powder and bite mole. There we go. That that all worked out.
<sighs> and if we manage to beat Nessa, we'll be able to grab another Pokemon from the wild area as well, so that'll be nice. Yes, let's get going. <laughs> Hopefully... No one in here should be stronger than level 24. And that's the hope, anyway. And that includes NASA as well. I'm pretty sure one of the gym lead uh, trainers in here is avoidable, but... We may as well try and snag up the XP. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if my time pole evolves while I'm in here, actually. Electric Pokemon tend to evolve really early as well. Not electric, uh, bug types. So that Bite Mole is going to evolve pretty soon. I actually see no need to press that right now, because it'll stop me from progressing. Ooh, a Krabby. A Krabby would be cool. I don't tend to use Krabby. Guess that's kind of the fun of the Wanderlock, though. You don't really have a choice what you're using. <laughs> you kind of just got to go with it. Right side, because you tend to get rejects. You do still get quite some decent Pokemon. Because people tend to either be breeding them to get shinies or breeding them to get like setting for competitive play. So you get some you still get some pretty good Pokemon. Luckily, we might not even need um, Stumet, which is nice. I mean, obviously, when we get to it, I will be bringing out Stumet, because I imagine Nessa's only going to have two to three Pokemon. Okay, Bite Mole's already level uh, evolving. So that be a Grubbin now? No. Oh, Bug Psychic. Nice, okay. Pretty happy about that.
let's take care of that trainer just so we can move around freely. So I remember Nessa has a Dreadnought, which is the evolution of Tutor. So I don't think Dreadnought's gonna have anything. I think Dreadnought's like dark water. So I think the biggest thing to worry about would be its bite. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I've been burping and farting so much lately. Ooh, maybe I was too too early with that. Hang on, let me check what's down these stairs. Yep. Wait, what the hell? What's the benefit of this? Ah, right. I'm following. Do, 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 do. Big brains. I I have easily bested your children's puzzle. Three Pokemon. I'm pretty confident Crobat could handle himself if I need to if I needed to switch to him though. Sounds good. Nice. Are we going to get this done in three moves?
Komodo, like, Komodo's pretty, uh, pretty close to leveling up to Gyarados as well. Why do I keep saying leveling up? Evolving. Right, so that'll be 55. And that'll be 110. Okay, cool. She's pulling such a power pose. That's some like enemy stand user energy. Nice one hit. Gym leader taken care of in three moves. I ain't bad. Komodo is finally going to be of some use as well. Just in time for the fire gem. This is quite the team I got going right now. Ooh, flying though. That's going to be uh, double weakness of electricity. Rayhan's definitely got some electric types, I'm certain. There we go, that's another badge for me. And another badge means another Pokemon. That'll be... Yeah, what a good move. That'll be pretty good for my... Gyarados, actually. TMs. Oh, I can finally learn a bunch of these moves. That will be useful against the fire gym. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why am I putting a ground move to be useful on the fire gym when I have a water move? Oh well. Better than nothing. Uh, you gave me the. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Good thing she actually reminded me because I was just going to keep going. But, oh yeah, before we do that, let's pop to the Pokemon Center and see if now we can learn any moves from the Forget Move guy. Also, I want to see if I can capitalize the B. Oh. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So, 
I've been quite lucky with my current team because I've actually got some pretty good Pokemon. But each one of them has come from another player online. So we've got one from Mia, one from Oshin, one from something in Japanese. Uh, one from Chris and another from Piet uh, Pieta and Anthony. So... Yeah, if, if they wind up getting over leveled too much, they'll stop listening to me because they only obey up to a certain amount. Uh, luckily, the cap is quite high. So at the moment, because I've got two badges, poke, only Pokemon up to level 40 will listen to me. So if they go over level 40, they'll kind of act on their own discretion. And on top of that, because Pokemon you uh, trade get like more XP... It is a little bit of a balancing game. Like, more or less, I just go straight through and I just fight just the trainers. I don't really fight Pokemon in bushes. Just in case, you know, I get too much XP. Because I'd hate to lose a useful Pokemon for, like, a gym that I need and it just won't listen to me when I need it to. But because of the wild area, I've included, like, a little extra rule. Because I know a lot of people, when it comes to wild area, they'll count each individual, like, fast travel point. Yeah, yeah, not a problem. Not a, not a problem. I, I just like to get, like, the nice variety, you know, using Pokemon I've never used before. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> most of the Pokemon I have now are ones I have used before, but I've never actually used a Crobat before, which is quite nice, so I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, a lot of people, when it comes to the wild area, they'll just capture one Pokemon from each named area, but... That seems, that's not really my type of thing, just because you'd go through the one, like, the area right at the start, and you'd have, like, 15 Pokemon. So, um, what I do instead is, uh, every time I get a gym badge, I'll go back to the wild area and I'll catch a new Pokemon. That's kind of, like, my balancing act for it. Because this game has so little roots. It's only got, like, 10 roots and, like, two caves. So I think that makes for uh, a pretty good thing. Makes for a pretty good balance. Uh, so in total, because there are eight gyms, I'd wind up getting eight Pokemon from the wild area over the course of this. Oh god, it's a Starfall. So, obviously I have to go into the first Pokemon I see, and like, once again, it was a Starfall. Um, every Pokemon that I've had die in this run so far has been killed by a Stuffle. Every single one. I've had three die. All three died to a Stuffle. So, I, I'm not I'm not really a fan of them right now. Um, now I'm trying to see, like, how can I... Yeah, I know, I know. And... I'll go onto a route, and every single Pokemon there will be a Stuffle. Like, if it's the first Pokemon that I have to catch, it'll always be a Stuffle. Um, and then I'll come back later, and there won't be a Stuffle in sight. Right. Actually, let's not go to Gyarados. Let's go to Crobat and use a Hypnosis, because I'm worried I'm going to kill it. On the bright side, this guy's so low, I don't feel threatened by him. So that's that's good. No, not yet. Um, he only just leveled up, maybe... He only became a Crobat, like, two levels ago. So, he hasn't learnt Acrobatics yet. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I hope he learns it soon, though. So this is the first time I'm going to have more than six Pokemon at once now, so I'll finally be able to have a little bit of a, of a balance, which would be good. With the Fire Gym coming up, I'll probably bench uh, Stumat, the, uh, the little monkey guy. 
or possibly uh, bite more. And each one as well, I call them wonder before I chuck them off into the abyss. Oh, actually, let's get out of the grass. I don't want to get in any unnecessary fights. Alright, did you go into box one or did you go... Okay, yeah. So this is the graveyard. These are our, our three dead Pokemon that died to a Stuffle. I think these two died against the same Stuffle, actually. It was a level 14 one uh, <laughs> that I found immediately in the wild area. And this guy died to a Stuffle on Route 5. Alright. Wonder. Off you go. Bring me something good. So I think if it's if it's above level 30, I think we should chuck it back. Because if we I, even though I can get up to level 40s, I feel if I get a level 40, it'll kind of like make things a bit too easy. So let's just say if it's above level 30, we'll uh we'll throw it back into the surprise trade. Oh yeah, I need to go to the seafood restaurant. Oh, surprise trade done. Alright, let's see who we get. Tio Power Jr. What you got for me, Tio? Okay, a Rookie D. A Rookie D, okay, that's pretty good. I mean, I already have a flying type, but uh, you know, they're a worse Pokemon to have. That'll, that'll come in useful down the line. Um, right, Stumat. I need you to sit things out for a while. Actually, actually no, we'll keep Bite Mole just because he'll become a Psychic type. Hopefully, uh, this one will learn Acrobatics in time for the third gym, because I'm pretty sure the third gym star Pokemon is Bug Fire. And so he would cut right through it. Hello, I have a reservation. Yeah, Acrobatics, um, that gives you more damage from not having an item, right? Although bef before we leave town, well, we will pop into the Pokemon Center just to just to be sure it's not one of those ones like he uh, skipped out on learning when he leveled up. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I'll be sure to take it off then. I'll have to check to see if uh, Gyarados is packing anything as well. See, I don't want to put Retaliate on because then I just feel like I'm setting myself up to have sacrificial Pokemon. Oh, don't challenge me again. Oh shit, BD's gonna challenge me in the in the mine, isn't he? I remember now. Shit, that was some time ago. What uh, what Pokemon was it? Oh yeah, let's see if we can capitalize Bite Mole as well. Oh, and Rupee D as well. Let's start with Bite Mole, though. Come on, can I capitalize that? No. Shit. Okay. Oh, shit. A oh, a Hydrogen. That's pretty good. 
I am a fan of the pseudo legendaries. Right. Rookie D. What are we going to call you, Rookie D? We're going to call you. Dur. Dur. Uh, Dur Your name's Durgil. Or Durgle. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's Dur Durgil or Durgle. I guess it's Durgle. Oh yeah, now let's take a look at some... Remember a move. Let's see if Crowback has, like, can have acrobatics. You just missed it. Yeah, no, uh, no acrobatics net yet. Uh, and nothing really I'd want to lose the moves I have for... Uh, right, Gyarados, what about you? Like Dragon Fang or something? Oh shit, Ice Beam! Oh, and Brine too, okay. Alright, let's ditch Whirlpool. What else we got? Yeah, let's grab Ice Beam as well. I mean, let's get rid of Brutal Swing then. Bite just seems better in every way. Uh, we're good for now, I think. Um, I think Rayhan's going to be the Dragon type guy. And we'll probably get better dragon move later. Then again, if it's just as... Oh, it's way worse than Bite, actually. Yeah, that'll do. In fact, the mine's bound to have a bunch of... Uh... Actually, we'll be okay. Actually, we'll have to see if the mines have any rock types in there. If it has rock types, probably have to switch out. Um, okay, first Pokemon we see. Oh, a Scrafty. Oh, dude, Togekiss is such a beast. And I think I used an Exadrill in... Um, my it wasn't like a it wasn't like a wonder lock or a nuzlocke it was just my first playthrough of pokemon black like exadrill's like amazing all right i don't want to hit him too hard oof that wasn't hard enough I am very worried about hitting you with cross poison and just absolutely messing you up. So let's try quick attack instead. That's a bit better. You know, I've never really been much into a competitive team. Um, I just like to try and uh, breed like shinies I like and that's about it. One more take you to red. That's fine. So, I can understand Torchic because Blaziken's pretty cool. Uh, I have never liked Mudkip. Uh, I, I definitely like Trico a lot more than Mudkip. I'd say Torchic would be my favorite of the th of the three, even though I do tend to like 
grass types a bit more than others, usually. But, uh, yeah, not Mudkip. Like, Swamp it. Ugh. I'm gonna take it, uh, Trico is one of your favorites then, yeah? Okay, I, I don't see myself landing any more attacks, so I'm just going to start lobbing balls at him. Actually, I should probably put um, Stuma back into my team just briefly, because I'm going to have to fight BD in a sec. Gen 5, um, that's, that is, that's black and white, right? Because if so, I, black and white may be my favorite Pokemon games. Uh, because black and white was, yeah, black and white. So, I stopped playing Pokemon for like a while. I played, uh, I did Generation 1 and 2. Like, I played Crystal, and then I stopped playing Pokemon completely until I decided just to buy Pokemon back. And Pokemon Black is amazing. And the fact that I hadn't played Pokemon in such a long time, and I opened it up, and I there were just no repeat Pokemon. Like, they were all entirely new. At least until you got to the post-game, of course. And I thought that was so cool. So, a lot of the Pokemon in black and white are, are just some of my favorites, just because obviously I went through it with like, these, this team of just guys I just didn't know. Okay, it's called Scraggy Wonder. Like, I think one of my all-time favorite Pokemon is... Um, I, I can't remember the name of its final form, but uh, I think it's Leveny. People who said black and white are bad are the ones who are hardcore anime fans. Was the anime not good of black and white? Or were they just like salty about not seeing some of the older Pokemon? It did, didn't it? It really did. Well, <laughs> what was kind of cool about Pokemon Black and White is that the <laughs> Team Plasma kind of had a point. At least up until the point where it was like, oh, ha, we don't actually care about Pokemon. Up until that point, you're like, oh, I can kind of, I can kind of see that argument. I had no idea they tried to reboot Pokemon. Oh, well, <laughs> why'd you go into the graveyard? Hang on, can we... And let's move him into the the proper box before we trade him off. But hang on, let me let me look up real quick. Uh, you do? I I like uh, I like Reshiram more. I just like the design of Reshiram. Is it is it Leveny? I'm just quickly Googling to see if... Yeah, no, my favorite Pokemon from uh, Gen 5 was Leveny. I am, a, I am a bit of a fan of the bug types, to be honest. Really? Because mm, I, I, guess, I guess I could see why someone wouldn't like the, the design of, uh, of Reshiram. But I, I just really like Reshiram. It looked like a Digimon. Zekrom's certainly uh, sleeker than Reshiram, though. They're more streamlined. Oh, 
Oh, oh, dude, the, oh, like that just reminded me of the desert area. There was that sick ass like fire moth in the desert area. I thought it was a legendary when I found it. Uh, but it just turned out to be a normal Pokemon. But it was so cool. Like, isn't it called like Vol Volcano Moth or Volcano something like something like that? Yep, probably that one. <laughs> like it was a it was a two form Pokemon. It had just like a a small moth form and that it, like a small little lava. It was a good pet. I mean, I could see why. It felt so strong when I was using it. It felt like a pseudo legendary. I don't think it was though. It's kind of funny actually. Oh, okay, wonder to Justin. What, what we got here? It's kind of funny actually because uh, this one has that ice moth, which is okay. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Let's just hope it's. Uh... Let's just hope it's within the level range. I've never actually used the, uh, there's like an ice moth in the, oh, level six, okay, level 60, you have to go back in, you're too high. Um, there's like an ice moth in this one that almost feels like a, like an equivalent of, um, that volcano moth Pokemon. So, I wouldn't mind using that one at some point. I think it's, it's like a starter form, it's called Snom. Alright, back in you go, can't, cotton me. It is, yeah. I've, uh, I remember seeing them flying around. Uh, so, thing is, while I would love to get one for this Wonderlock, they level up, they evolve, sorry, they evolve at such a high level that it would be kind of useless for the majority of the run. That's my only problem. I think they evolve at, like, what, level 50? Okay, me. Okay, Galarian, um, Slowpoke, not bad. Do they now? I thought it was level. Hmm. If I could get one in a Luxury Ball, then that'd be, that'd be dope. Ooh. Right, what level are you? Level 12, you've got to fill with two L's. Not bad, though. Um, now, Phil here presents a bit of a problem, because I didn't really want to step foot into the DLCs. However, our boy, our boy Phil is only going to level up if I... Um, He's only going to level up if I gather those twigs. So, uh, that's put us in a bit of a jam. So, we might have to pop to the Isle of Armor to uh, grab some of those sticks. Have I seen Gigalith Shiny? Um, that's the one with the blue rock sticking out of it, right? Hang on, let me take a quick look. Oh, that's bluer than I thought it would be. I, I thought they were, like, much darker than this. That's pretty tight, though. Kind of reminds me, um... In in Borderlands 2, there, uh, there are these rock monsters under the city. Uh, kind of reminds me of those. Alright. All hands on deck for the fight with BD. I'll put Durgle back in the uh, in the team after. It's real shiny. Like, what do you mean? Uh, do they have like alternate shiny forms or something?
Or is it just some kind of like... Oh, with science! <laughs> it's like some kind of mathematical equation that should decide what something shiny should be. It's not a real Pokemon. What, Gigalith? Oh, oh, I understand now. I understand now. The theory what it's, it's shiny should be isn't Pokemon canon. I get you. I get you. I'm following. Uh, leave me alone, Scrafty. Right, this second BD fight always gives me trouble. But, uh, my Ninetales has some pretty strong moves, so I should... I should be okay. Is that going to be better than Brian? It is, and it's going to be using the um, the attack stat as well, so that's way better. Yeah, no, I um, I did wind up... I got this um, Ninetales level 9. <laughs> I was hyped as hell when I found a Vulpix, because I know you can find that Firestone on the other side of the bridge. So uh, this this nine tails has been carrying me. Like Francisco is like my MVP. Like they're definitely my main Pokemon. Plus, they have Flash Fire, so even if I was to take them into the Fire Gym, they would still be pretty useful eating up all those fire moves. Yeah. <laughs> Stuffle almost did kill Ninetales, I swear. Stuffle went through five Pokemon, and he brought them all down to red. And uh, eventually, he just scored a lucky crit and uh, took Char uh, Charmeleon a little lower than he should have been. Uh, Will-O-Wisp, I think, is Ghost-type, but I don't think it actually does any damage. It just puts burn on him. Unless you have Burn Heal. Uh, can I get Burn if I have Flash Fire? Huh, okay. Still though, this is definitely the easiest time I've had with BD, like, ever. And um, I was so lucky to have found the, the leftovers as well. What, in, um... In, uh, what's it called? Motorstoke, that's it. I'll probably I'll be popping into the uh, the Pokemon Center anyway. I I have no limit on Pokemon Center. Like, while it is a Wonderlock and it is meant to be a challenge, I don't want to be too sadistic about it. Oh, am I am I going to fight Marnie when I get in? Then, probably. 
I haven't had to do any Marnie fights yet. Oh, I should update the um, the name, actually. I've got two badges now. There we are. Two out of eight badges. <laughs> I, I don't know if I am going to do uh, post-game. Because, um, I don't know, my, my main goal is to, uh, is to obviously beat Leon, uh, but I actually have considered doing the post game and trying to take it up to doing the Galarian Star Tournament. So I'm, I'm unsure. The only thing that's kind of stopping me from doing it is the fact that um, if I'm doing the post game and the DLCs, I'd have to, obviously, I'd have to grab Cub Fu. I'd have to grab Cub Fu and leveling up, and that doesn't sound like fun. Because <laughs> you have to take Cub, through, uh, Cub Fu uh, through that uh, tower, like, solo. And it has to be, like, level 70 or something. And that doesn't sound like an amazing time to me. Uh, right. Alright, Stuma, you pop in there. You're not going to be much use in the fire gym. Uh, ooh, that's a good question. I think the one that I prefer is water type. I like the one with its leg up. I, I think the dark type one is the one that's more like grounded, like the punching one. So yeah, I think I'm a, I'm a water type Urshifu guy. Plus, you know, there aren't many uh, water fighting types as far as I, I can recall. I think the only one, the only other one that's off the top of my head is, um, I think, uh, Samurott's final form. I think it might just be Samurott. What about you? Which one, which one do you prefer? Oof, if he hits me with a rock type, that could be a problem. With a rock move. And yeah, poison on a rock guy. Oh fuck. Oh, that wasn't so bad. That's fair. It is. I, I do like both of the uh, Urshifus. They are really cool. Hang on. Why am I? Why aren't I using a water type right now? It's fire rock. I have every reason to swap to Gyarados right now. Oh, of course, this guy's flying too. Holy shit, that's a terrible idea. Why did I switch to Gyarados? I forgot Gyarados is like water flying. Right. Time pole. <laughs> That's the correct choice. Um, if I get a Machamps.com, probably not, just because Machamps.com tend to be like level one hundred. If it's if it's a shiny I particularly like though, I might I might just wind up keeping it. <laughs> There's actually a, a shiny Latia sitting in one of my in my bank in my box right now. Cause I I just liked it too much to get rid of.
Oh, excellent. I think um, the shiny Latias might be legit as well. It's not Majamps.com. It's uh, It's got like a regular um, trainer number. Uh, original trainer. And it's level 92. Oh, speaking of bad legendaries, I had a shiny um, Regiice come through on this run. So I traded it away, but the shiny Regiice uh, is barely different than the regular one. It's like it's like a slightly deeper blue, and that's about it. But yeah, I was uh, lucky enough to grab Oops. a shiny Latias, which is pretty cool. And it looks like it was taken from the Max Lair, so I don't know why that guy farmed for this and then Wonder traded it away, but that's kind of cool. Dusk balls, okay. Then again, there's no more caves in this game. There are two caves in this game. So, that's more or less just going to be it. Uh, I want to avoid those. Oh, okay, no point being that. Once again, probably the okay. I'm just I'm just gonna switch to her fanties full time. Nah, I I think I'm gonna avoid uh, reviving anyone. I, I think I would much rather just have like the additional Pokemon because that just gives me the variety, you know. Uh, like I I'm not really gonna miss you know Copper Jar or like Charmeleon too much because those are both Pokemon I've used in the past. So I think it's much more exciting to get, like, someone new. Especially since I kind of already have, uh, like, fire and stuff, like, kind of, like, covered. So I kind of want as many different Pokemon types as possible. It's a good suggestion, though. Oh yeah, having one that I wouldn't be able to evolve would be a massive pain in the ass. But I, I guess that's kind of like the appeal of like a Wonderlock though, isn't it? You kind of just have to make do. Like, uh, if you get stuck with a shitty Pokemon, you kind of just got to make it work. Plus, you know, if, if you do be pretty careful, uh, you, you eventually will just have like a bunch of Pokemon you can kind of swap in and out. Like, for example, like, I've temporarily benched, um, my Grookey because we're going up against the Fire Gym. But as soon as the Fire Gym's out of the way, Grookey's, like, rejoining, like, the team, like, proper. There's just no sense in him really getting some XP for the time being because, you know, that XP would probably better be going to, like, Rookie D or something. I was going to say I was going to remove the uh, Crobat from the top spot, but it's kind of lucky that I forgot to, because it'll be, it'll be pretty good against uh, the Team Yell guys. Yeah, let's fuck him up. Yeah, yeah, that is that is the one thing. I really do wish I could turn off the XP share. I, uh, in the next Pokemon generation, I really do hope that's something they add in. 
Uh, I don't know why they removed the ability to toggle it off. There were a lot of weird design choices in this game, like, uh... Ah, uh, it's all good. You're, uh, you're doing like, as long as I can understand, you know? Like, as, if people can understand you, like, it's not a problem. And I, I'm having no problem understanding what you're saying. Um, but yeah, there were a lot of weird design choices in this one. Like, they locked the sound options behind a random NPC in Motorstoke. Which is super weird. Like, why, why would you hide the options to that degree? It, it just doesn't make much sense to me. Ooh, oh, I thought that was acrobatics. Uh, air cutter, though, not bad. Um, we'll ditch quick, quick attack and grab air cutter. Yeah, I turned on fast captions just to blast through the dialogue as fast as possible. Oh, do you want me to slow it down? I figured I would just uh, speed it up because like, I'm not like reading out the dialogue for people because I've played through this like a bunch of times. If you want though, I can... Uh... Oh, okay, cool. I was going to turn off the cinematics as well, but... Uh... I just really wanted to see that cinematic where all the gym leaders come out in the uh, at the start at the very first gym because I think that's just really cool. Cross poison be fine. Oh, another crit, nice. Durgle's bound to uh, level up by the end of this fight. It's insane, isn't it? I, I'm so glad they brought up the Pokemon Bank just so I can, like, safely keep them in one spot. So, if it ever does come to it, like, if there was, like, a Pokemon that I really, really just wanted to keep going, I could. I, I hope they stick with it, because it kind of sucks that you can't take your Pokemon from Gen 1 and 2. But, uh, I, I guess it's just the way it is. But, yeah, I, I have some Pokemon that I've had since Black and White, which is quite nice. Like, I made sure to get him off. Oh, you, you said um, you grew up on Diamond and Pearl, right? What do you think about that? those Diamond and Pearl remakes that are coming out? I'm a little unsure. I, I've, never, I've never played Diamond and Pearl, but I do understand they are very good Pokemon games. But certain about how... The person who's had their starter from red to shit. See, I'm I'm a little sure like the the art style, the 3D like chibi uh, art style to it. It kind of bothers me a little bit. I, I it's something about looking at it that I'm not a fan of. So I'm kind of on the fence about getting it. It I haven't played Diamond and Pearl, so it would be nice to play through um, just like a essentially a new Pokemon game for me. So I don't know. Plus, I heard um, Cynthia, the champion, has like is like really strong. Yes, exactly. I heard uh, her. Uh, you know what? Do you know who was a, who was a monster um, in black and white? Uh, Getsis. It took me so long to beat him. Like I'm talking like hours. Yeah, I might. I might emulate it. I don't know. See, I wouldn't mind having access to all the online stuff, though, because if they add in, like, like Wonder Trades to, uh, if they add in Wonder Trades to this Diamond and Pearl uh, one, that would definitely, like, make me a little bit more interested. Yeah, that would make me more interested, because then I could do, like, a Wonder Lock through it.
Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> There's a good chance I probably just won't emulate it just because I'm not I'm not sure you're allowed to emulate games when you're uh, streaming on Twitch. I don't know if Twitch has any rules against that. In the yeah, I guess in the future there will be uh, Sword and Shield remakes. Let's hope they do a better job of uh, of the 3D than they did in this one. Cuz uh unfortunately, as much as I like Sword and Shield, um, it does leave a lot to be desired in some aspects of it. Like, when Pokemon was going full 3D onto the Switch, I did expect, like, a bigger jump. Like, I'm not saying I expected Breath of the Wild, but, uh, you know, I was expecting something, like, kind of like that. That's why I'm pretty excited about that Pokemon Legends uh, Arceus that's coming out. That's kind of what I wanted. And I know in the trailer, like... The frame rate on some of the animations, they were so... Like, the animations themselves were so choppy on some of the Pokemon. Um, but I, I think that's really just something that'll be polished out. Like, it looked like it was uh, really early alpha footage. Like, so, yeah, I, I think that'll be cleaned up. Exactly, like... It, <sighs> Pokemon Legends is just, like, the Pokemon game I always wanted when I was a kid. Right, I definitely don't want to get bitch slapped by Anonyx, so where is her fanties? Seismitoad was in uh was came out in black and white as well. I remember having a seismitoad in my team. Oh, that's a good thing I switched, that would have been horrible to hit my crowbat. What's a railway worker even doing in a cave? Like, do you have any dialogue to explain why you're here? No? Okay. So, when I was a kid, I used to watch a lot of Digimon. Uh, oh fuck, let's avoid that. I remember watching up to, like, the third era, the, like, you know, the one when they were in, um, the Digimon came to the real world and they were, like, keeping them secret. I think it was, uh, Guilemon. I should probably rewatch it, because I remember really enjoying season one and two. Uh, I even had, uh, Digimon the movie on, like, a VHS tape. And, yeah, I think I just stopped watching Digimon apart, like, somewhat, like, some point through the third, through the third one. So I don't actually know how that one ended. Maybe I should give it a watch. I don't remember the revolver, but I definitely remember the big lion. Because he was just like a big, like, lion dude. But I remember, like, uh, what was it? An Angelmon and... Uh, like angel feet woman on or some they, they had really stupid names like <laughs> Greymon was sick though I can't remember the name of the uh the tiger one uh the blue Gabumon maybe although my favorite one was uh the big bug one like it was like this little beetle thing but when it went into its like champion form it was like this big like bug with like this mouth that would open it had like a big spike Don't on it me. oh awesome thank you for the follow now let me give this let me let me try pronouncing this uh gravi gravitatious i'm gonna say gravitatious thank you for the follow thank you for the follow hey did you ever play um a game called digimon world on playstation one that game was so sick if there was any game that I would emulate to play on stream, but Digimon World would be like near the top. Oh, 
Oh, that's fair. It, it was kind of like, um... It was almost like having a Tamagotchi. Like, oh, you had a 360? Yeah, ah, oh, dude, 360 had such good games as well. I... I oh, know, wait, no. Stubbs the Zombie was on the original Xbox. Although, Stubbs the Zombie, I know, has had a remake coming out for the Switch as well. Or a remaster. But 360 had some great games. Like, uh, I played so much Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, Gears of War, actually, holy shit. I played every single one of the Gears of War games. Like, well, well one through three. One through three. I didn't play, like, four, or what was it called? Like, D-Day or Emergence Day or some shit like that. I heard those ones weren't very good anyway. Oh, yeah. My, my weird little, like, Xbox avatar guy. I can't even remember how I had him dressed up, to be honest. I probably had him in, like, a top hat or something stupid. Ooh, new route. I do know about poker jobs, so don't bother me about it. What route is this? Oh, motor stoke outskirts. Sweet. Uh, right. <laughs> did they... Do you know with all the Minecraft merch, did they, like, wind up making it look, like, super blocky? Like, did it just have, like, your regular, like, 360 avatar guy, but with, like, a big blocky set of Minecraft armor? Like, a big set of diamond armor or something? Or is it like, like a Steve shirt and a block head or something? <laughs> what a weirdly specific uh, thing to have on a shirt. Just uncooked pork. Let's throw a hypnosis at him. I'm I'm not too actually. Let me hit him with astonish. That'll do a little bit more. A block of raw pork. <laughs> I I think I would really enjoy Minecraft a lot more if I could make myself a house out of raw pork. I I think that would appeal to the uh, the creative in me. I feel like I can't express myself in dirt and wood. Uh, only wool and raw pork blocks. Pseudo Udo, we're gonna trade you for something new. And once again, Pseudo Udo, you will be Wonder. Oh no, don't want to put you in my party, I want to put you in the uh, box. Right, away he goes. Give me something good. I only found out this generation that Pseudo Wudo wasn't even a grass type. Like, I, I, I understand the name now at least, but uh, 
<laughs> my my wood is rock hard. I I I, rec I, I I understand the name at least. Like back when I first saw it in um, Generation Two. Uh, oh fuck! I wanted to avoid fighting you. Oh well, it is what it is. Ooh, electric type. Right. Let's get you out of there. Oh, we don't want to use any of these guys either. So, the only one will be you. Because everyone else is weak to electric. Now, that's actually something to... <laughs> Could you not? Could you not, though? Right, I'm definitely going to have to sort this team out. I didn't realize I had such a huge weakness to electricity. Alright, Stumpert's going to have to come back in. Yamper, I swear to god. If Bite Mole comes out, I'll stick with Bite Mole. There we go. I think Bite Mole's going to be okay. Wouldn't be my first choice, but... Lady, what is your game plan? Yeah, in, in my experience, they start to ask questions if you show up to a, a hospital with more than two. <laughs> Alright, Fire Blast, let's go. I guess so, like, if you, like, absorbed him. Plus, you'd have, like, fully grown man strength and, like, additional baby strength. Like... You'd have those little sharp baby nails that claw your skin. Like a really shitty Wolverine. Shit, if you had those sharp ass baby nails, you could just just jab people in the side and take people's kidneys as you wanted them. Just a snack on the go whenever you feel like it. <laughs> Dollar Store Wolverine, exactly. Hey, trade complete. Alright, pseudo Wudo. Okay, Charlotte, what you got for me? Roserade, okay. Oh, sorry, Roselia. Roserade's the final form. Right. Hopefully, they're within a usable range. If it's above level 30, back it goes. Level 1, okay. Right. So, we, we more... We're... <laughs> We are just kind of getting the same types over and over again. It's doing okay for the time being, but it's going to bite me in the ass eventually, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to have to probably remove Rookie D from my team just because um, I realize I have such like a weakness to electricity right now, and I don't really want to risk having more. So, Durgle, you have to sit this out for a bit. Until we can kind of get more coverage and might be able to bring you in. You, 
If you get road rage and the person in the front of you has a baby on board, it has been scuffed up, you know, there have been three and five in a skate to ram into them. That, that's fair. Like, um... Plus, you know, kids need like, a little excitement in their lives, so, uh... You know, a little... a little... A little bump and... A little, little car bump ain't never done anything, anyone any harm. If anything, it's character building. <laughs> you know, I've never actually been on a plane. I've had, I've had no reason to go anywhere. I I hope to have a well, actually, I don't know. I'm about to say I hope to have a civil experience. I don't know why I'd willingly want like a child kicking the shit out of my chair. Oh, you got anything for me? Right. Let us pop in to the gym. I think I'm going to end the stream once I get beat this gym leader and grab my Pokemon from the wild area. Because we've probably only got about 30 minutes after this stream, so it seems like a good cutting off point. Yeah, truthfully, I, I I can kind of agree with that. Like, like I, I'm fine with like kids, but I can't stand the crying of them like at all. Uh, like, you know, like people got places to be, but like shit, man. Like, if your baby's gonna be crying the entire way, like I I just don't want it there. Same with like a movie theater. Like, if I'm gonna go see a movie, I don't want to hear like a wailing baby for like half of it. Right, Marnie, I presume. Um, yeah, these guys would be fine for Marnie. I actually thought that was true, though. Like, I thought that was, like, a genuine thing that, like, happens. Like, I imagine... Because they don't keep it on board, do they? I'm certain they actually do, like, drop it, right? Like, I'm certain there are, like, stories of people actually getting, like, hit by, like, flying chunks of frozen shit. Oh, do they just do it when they've, like, landed then? Oh, Marnie is such a good theme. Oh, okay, yeah. So they just stick, like, a, like a pipe on it when it lands and just drain it out into a tanker. Let's dump it in a landfill somewhere. I've never actually used a more a more peco actually. I'd be pretty happy if I got one of those out of the Wonder Trade.
That that can't be true, right? I, I think everyone would recognize like an avocado if they saw one, right? I mean, I could kind of see the resemblance, but like, I don't know. Like, grenades are like so bumpy. And I know avocados are, but they have those like little, like grenade. Yeah. But like, you know, grenades just have those little like ridges. At least, I mean, I, I'm not going to say I've ever seen a grenade, because I haven't. But, you know, all those, uh, those drawings of grenades have those little, uh, little ridges on them. That's it. Waffle. That's it. You ever eaten an avocado? Yeah, a re yeah, a reverse waffle. I guess I guess that makes sense. I guess it's easy than just saying like bumpy squares. I think I think that makes a pretty good description. But yeah, I I've eaten avocado once and I don't really care for it. Uh, weirdly enough, though, I really like guacamole. Oh, you've never eaten either? It, it's strange. I hate avocado, but I really like... Yeah, no, I love guacamole, and, like, it's more... Like, guacamole is more or less just crushed up avocado with just, like, some, like, lemon and, sar like, cilantro or just some shit like that. And so, I'm really not sure why I like one and I don't like the other. I could go for some guacamole now, actually. Like some nachos or something. If you ever find yourself grabbing like a burrito or something, I recommend just getting a bit of like guacamole like on the side or something to see if you like it. Like kind of, I guess. It's um it's not like stringy or anything. Um it's kind of just then like a I wouldn't say like mashed potato. Uh, it's kind of like, just like a really thick salsa. Yeah, um, you know that the stuff you sometimes dip, like, uh, corn chips into? It's like that tomato-y sauce stuff. It's got, like, chunks of, like, onion and stuff. Like, if you ever had Doritos, they sometimes, like, sell them with Doritos. Alright, let's get you back in the thing, because I doubt we're going to run into any electric types inside the fire gym. <laughs> do, you reckon he just, do you reckon it's intentional, or do you reckon he just forgot to change it? Because there have been times where, during a stream, I will switch game. Like a lot of time, I'll time I like uh, practice uh, Smash Brothers and then hop onto something else. Like I'll do like an hour of Smash and then like, but I'll be playing the other game for like thirty minutes, and then I'll remember that oh I haven't <laughs> I haven't said I'm not playing Smash Brothers anymore. Or, or do you reckon he's just doing it to like get some like weird extra views? Right, if I remember, this one's just defeat. Yeah, I remember. You have to defeat more Pokemon than your opponents, but they will attack you. Which is a huge pain in the ass.
It is kind of crazy how so many streamers are, like, sponsored by either Raid Shadow Legends or just some VPN company. I mean, I guess the VPN company thing makes sense, but it seems like it's, like, almost all of them. Oh, or, like, Dollar Shave Club or something. Like, there's nothing like a streamer telling me how, like, smooth my balls could be. Oh, you got more than one Pokemon. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe I'll just give up on uh Yeah. <laughs> you got a personal beef with uh Nord VPN. I heard they had like a data pro like a like, uh, some of that data got released or something? Like, maybe like a year ago? Or some shit like that. Something about, like, a security breach. Might have been a little over a year ago. Because I know NordVPN's been around for a few years now. Or at least, uh, out and, like, popular. I think her fanties is gonna carry us through this gym solo. Alright, isn't it like first to five, is it? Ooh, ghost type. It's not that it's a ghost type. I did, yeah. Nintendo have always been kind of weird like that, though. Like, uh, I understand they're protecting their IP, but like, they'll, uh, you know, they'll sh they'll shut down fan games and, yeah, no, no, I agree, I agree. Um, that's just bad PR, no matter how what way you spin it. But like, yeah, Nintendo will, like have all sorts of shifty shit going on. Like, um, what was it? Like, people always used to joke about how people, like, Nintendo ninjas would get you. But there was straight up, like, a leaked, do like, Nintendo document about how, like, they were following this fucking dude around and shit. And it's like, oh shit, Nintendo ninjas are fucking real. And they're, like, following people and shit. Yeah, like, there aren't any, like, new copies of, like, Smash, Smash Bros. Melee, like, floating around, so... Like, if it's not, like, in print anymore, like, t it's technically, like, abandonware. So, I, I, don't, I don't see, like, how they even have, like, the legal grounds to do that. Like, uh, for example, like, Black and White 1 and 2. The company that made that isn't even around anymore, so you can, like, freely just, like, download it. With, like, no legal repercussions. Like... I guess it, because Nintendo's still around, I guess they can do it, but I just don't see why they do. Because, like you said, they're not, they can't make money off it anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know it's still their intellectual property, but you, you're right about them not being able to make money off it anymore. So I, I don't see, like, just the purpose of uh, shutting down a, a charity tournament. Because <laughs> what are they going to do? But, like, the alternative is going and buying legit copies of the game, which they just don't sell anymore. 
So yeah, I I, I don't know. Like, if, if, like, it was still available to buy, like, even through, like, I don't know, like a Switch eShop download, I could understand it, but... Actually, let's move Gyarados up a bit. He'll be my emergency Pokemon. Yeah, I'd be into that. I really wouldn't mind if... Because uh, if they did do that, I would probably buy Smash Brothers Brawl just to play through Subspace Emissary. Because that was, like, a lot of fun. Like, I was absolutely gutted that uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate didn't have, like, a Subspace em. Because when I saw the spirits thing, I was like, oh, sweet, we're finally going to get, like, another, like, story thing with, like, a bunch of cutscenes and stuff. And we did kind of get that a little bit. There were, like, a few, like, cutscenes, but it was really just kind of moving around, like, a big game board and just doing, like, random fights, essentially. So I was a little bit disappointed with that. But, uh, yeah, long story short, I would love to play Subspace Emissary again. And even with um, Smash 4, I, I had the 3DS one, and they had that thing called Smash Run. Smash Run was a lot of fun. I would love to play Smash Run again. You know, it, it the ultimate theme song, uh, what's it called, like, Starlight or some shit like that with the woman singing, it really doesn't do it for me. It really just doesn't save Smash Brothers to me. But, you know, who am I to say what Smash Brothers is? Like, I got no right. Let's kill this Nine Tails as fast as possible, and as soon as it's down, I will heal the burn. Do you reckon, like, while I understand, you know, uh, Spirits does have a kind of a plot, uh, I don't know, I, I never really saw it as, like, anything as, you know, anything more than just, like, a way just to, you know, to play through a bunch of missions. Um, I, I never really saw it as anything more than that. That just might be my fault for not looking into it more, though. Like, the, the song itself just never really, like, appealed to me. That's quite a question. I actually don't play much of the Mii Fighter, to be honest. But, uh... I was about to say, probably Brawler. Because, you know, there's plenty of sword characters. I'm not one of those guys that starts, like, whining about sword characters. But, you know, I like a little bit of variety. Um, I'm not really big on the Gunner. So I'd say, by default, the Brawler is probably my favourite of them. So who are you hoping for for the final two DLC slots? I, I, I'm I quite lucky because I've kind of got like all the characters that I wanted now. So truthfully, I don't really mind who the last two slots are because all the characters that I really want are now in. So uh, yeah, I would say probably the only two characters that I'd be like, oh, hell yeah, would probably be like, I don't know, Chun-Li or like Eggman or something. Apart from that, I'm, I'm not too fast.
Yeah, I've never really been big on Mr. Game & Watch. He's quite fun to use, though, but... Like, it's, he's not one I would ever main. Like, I'd never want to main him. Like, he's fun to, like, play when you, like, get him in random. Just because I quite like the, um... His forward air, or maybe it's his back air, where uh, he drops the bomb down. And, uh, the hammer. You'd main Pac-Man? But I don't think that's too weird. I, I used to play with a guy who'd main Pac-Man. He, he was quite he was quite fond of him. Not like I don't really I don't care for him though. I, I wouldn't willingly play Pac-Man myself. Like I'd probably be disappointed if I got him from random. But uh I've had I've been bodied by some pretty good Pac-Man players. At least in comparison to me. Holy shit, he's got grass moves. Okay, that's a problem. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to switch to Ninetales. Because you have Flash Fire and the grass won't do much to you. I'm not really sure. Um, as I understand it, obviously because, you know... We're all, uh, we're all inside right now, so we haven't really had the chance to uh, experience, like, characters at Locals. I understand that in Japan, though, Min Min is quite the beast. So, uh, I, I reckon by the time we leave, like, our isolation, uh, <laughs> there's going to be a bunch of, like, really nasty, like, Min Min's waiting for us. Like, I already struggle enough with Min Min's online. Like, uh, Min Min's have been absolutely destroying me. Uh, but you know, you know, the more they destroy you, the more you learn, the better you get. You also have Flash Fire. That is annoying. Okay, but I have Psychic moves, so it's okay. But yeah, I don't really know too much about how Steve affected the competitive scene, to be honest. I, I, I kind of, like, stopped following competitive smash around then. Ugh, ugh. I mean, you can kind of DI out of, um, out of the, you know, PK fire spam, but I don't understand why you'd want to willingly spam anything anyway. It's just, I just don't understand how that would be fun for, like, you or them. Like, surely getting some tight mix-ups in would be, like, you know, just like a lot more fun for to watch. Not to say every every mess I've gone up against has just been like a PK spam like fire spammer though. Because obviously if they're just throwing PK like fire constantly, all you've got to do is stop coming from the side. But uh Yeah. I mean, you can get the urge to spam, and sometimes you might just like miss input. You know, and accidentally put in like the wrong thing. <laughs> no, what? Just doing jabs constantly. I've never like gone through a whole match just doing that, but I have had a few kills doing that. But truth be told, I know I was just saying like, oh, who would ever want to spam? I have a really bad habit of um, using my forward smash too much. Like a really, I'm trying to like get myself out of it because, you know. As soon as someone cottons on to how often I forward smash, uh, you know, they can punish me pretty easily. Hmm. Yeah, no. Uh, up Bs, I, I do quite a lot with them as well. Uh, prior to Pyra and Mithra coming out, I would play a lot of Byleth. And the up B was just so fucking useful. It was like the minute someone was off stage, you'd either go in to hit them with the uh, spear, or if they were suitably high percentage, you just try and up B them. And that's kind of carried on into my Pyra plays. Like if I'm playing Pyra and I'm like above someone, I keep using the up B, which is nice. But the problem is it has so, one, obviously I don't like to spam things. And two, it has so much end lag that if I miss, 
someone has like pretty much time just to full on charge like a falcon punch and get me. Uh, and I really shouldn't be relying on it so much anyway, considering how good Pyra's down A is. Her, her down aerial is incredible. And it has such like a long range and like a wide arc that if I time it right, no one should really be able to touch me if I'm doing it. Alright, that is the three easy gems out of the way. I haven't actually encountered too many Steves online, so I I haven't personally been victimized by a Steve. I, I do I am looking forward to fighting one though, because obviously, you know, the better you get. But yeah, I, I haven't really encountered too many Steves, so I can't really relate to their build mechanic. Uh, I've tried him a few times, and yeah, he's, he's like fine, but because I haven't put much time into him, I don't think I've really discovered the things that make him truly horrible. <laughs> One thing I don't like about him, I really don't like his recovery. Like, not at all. I, I, I keep like whiffing it and just flying directly off. There we are, it's so a third badge. So I'm gonna go to the wild area and catch and trade off one more Pokemon, and then I'll be ending the stream. Cause I have hit about three hours now, and I do typically like to stream from about six till nine. So this'll be more or less, once we catch that Pokemon and trade it off, that'll be the end of the stream. Yes, exactly. It's so hard to control. I can't do it. Like, I'll use it, and I'll just fly directly up, and then I'll get no distance, and ugh. And if I do want to get, like, a long amount of distance, it takes me so long to get the angle right. That it's, more or less, if I'm off the stage, I'm dead. Oh, are we getting, like, an actual, like, African, like, Pokemon game? I'd be kind of into that. Like, if they did Africa or Australia, I would I unironically really dig it. That's... Oh, okay. I, I'd be into that, though. Like, seriously. Like, no joke. I heard uh, India would be a good one too. Chicago. That'd, that'd be kind of sweet. I've never been to Chicago. But uh, what, what kind of Pokemon would you reckon you'd find in like a Chicago based game? Because I'd be totally into uh, just a full Pokemon game in like a big city. Like that would totally be my thing. Oh, dude, there are some great Pokemon that would fit in Brazil. Um, Sun and Moon had these, like, flamenco dancing bird Pokemon. That would be, like, a great pick for Brazil. 
Right. Wild area. Let's get our new Pokemon from beating the fire gym. Oh, let's, and let's switch to Crobat so we can use. I swear to God, if that's a Stuffle. Oh, it's an Oddish. Okay. Yeah, you're off to like Kanto and he just screams you're going to Brazil and they just drag you down into a hole. No, I don't want to go to Brazil. That's uh, that's the plot of the game. You have to escape Brazil, and the only person to escape Brazil is the Pokemon champion. You have to beat the uh, the guards in a test of strength. <laughs> it's like the equivalent of getting the badges. You just have to work your way through the guards. Just have to rip their uh, their name tags off their unconscious bodies. Speaking of gulags, a Russian themed Pokemon would be kind of tight. I'd be into that. Right, let's wonder trade our Oddish away, our big ugly boy. And I will head over to the Pokemon Center, ready to head off for the night. By the time you get into the Pokemon Center, the trade should be complete, hopefully. Is it ready? Oh, no, it's not ready. I'm quite glad my team's quite a normal team, to be honest. I'm not really getting many of the... Uh, the expansion pass Pokemon, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping to get like a bunch of just weirdos and just make it work, but this is probably a kind of team I'd put together if I was just doing a normal playthrough. <laughs> right, let's see what we get in, in like exchange for our Oddish then. A full okay, an Arcanine. We're getting a lot of fire types. Now, what level is this Arcanine? Because if it's too high, we'll have to put it back in. Yeah, Ash will like bounce back and forth in between being some kind of like battling genius, just being the biggest dumb. Okay, it's so only it's level eleven, so we can keep hold of this. To being just the biggest dumbass. God, we've got so many fire types. Alright, and with that, I would say my stream is done for the night. Thank you for joining me. Uh, thanks for keeping me company for so much of this, by the way. Uh, I stream more or less like each day, so uh, for the most part, it'll just be like between six and nine. So about three, like three, to, like two to three hours a day, most days. All right, bye-bye. Catch you later. Hang on, let me double save just to make sure I saved. All right, sweet. Bye now.